Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Develop with Git and Eclipse. In the last episode we discussed how to push your Git repository you created from a project with an Eclipse to a remote repository server like a repository on GitHub. And today we're going to discuss how you can add a new project you again created with an Eclipse to that repository that's already there and push this to GitHub. And actually this is fairly easy. So first let's start with creating a new project and let's say okay we want to create a complex library uh, that accompanies the complex project we created before. I'm not going to create any content because that's not interesting for uh, our demonstration here. Um, Eclipse just created the project for us and I'm going to add this very project to our Git repository. So I'm going to right click on the project, say team and say share. And then I'm selecting Git here because that's the kind of repository I want to share with. And then I'm going to get to this uh, nice little wizard here. And I can actually select uh, the repositories that are available here. You might remember from last episode down here, these are the two, episode, uh, the two repositories we saw before. And the repo repository is actually the one, you can see it up here too, we uh, published the complex project to. So now we're going to... Uh, publish our new project also to this repo repository. And what I'm going to do is just increase the size of this dialog so we can have a better look at the paths. Um, what you can see is that the current location of the project is within my workspace. It's a complex library and he tells me that after publishing, after sharing with the Git repository, uh, it will be in git repo complex library. So we will create or move the folder, the project folder complex library dire directly into the repo. Um, what I could do here with these, this additional path uh, is like place the, the project in subdirectory in my repository like, like I did with sub here. Uh, he's warning me that this directory doesn't exist and you will ex uh, create it on, on clicking finish, but for our purposes I will not create a subdirectory but just place this complex library directly in uh, the repository. And I hit finish and already the uh, project has been added to the repository and it has in fact been moved from the workspace to the repository location which you can see here the project location is now repo complex library. But uh, what eGit didn't do so far is check anything in. So the next step is, as we know it already, go to right-click team commit. There we see uh, the, the files of the project that have been automatically created, like the class path, there's a git ignore file, there's a project file, and there's a settings file. I'm just going to add all of them and say, okay, uh, Let's do it without the bullet points. Edit new library project. And I'm going to commit that. And Or in this case, since I want it published uh, right now, I will click commit and push. So he will push the, um, he will commit the new project to the repository and automatically push it to GitHub. The only thing he's asking me is the password for my SSH key. So give me a second. Okay, I just copied my password, and I'm gonna to I'm gonna uh, copy, uh, paste it in here and click OK. So you can see that he published the new commit to our GitHub repository. Just going to confirm that. Um, there's a question mark now, that's one, one surprising thing for some of you maybe. There's a question mark still on the source folder of our project and that is actually because the source folder has no contents. Um, Git only manages files, no folders, so the source folder is going to check in only if I check in a file within the source folder. That's why there's still a question mark, that's a little confusing. Uh, Display, you can't actually check this in. If I go to uh, team, right click, commit, it's going to tell me that there are no uh, changes 
in the repository, so has, there's nothing he can commit. As soon as I create a file inside the source directory and commit that file, uh, everything will be all right, and he will display the uh, checked in symbol instead of the question mark here. Okay. Last thing I'm going to show you today is that he actually pushed the changes uh, to my GitHub repository. So I'm already logged in as a Let's Developer here. And if I go to Let's Develop with Git repository, then we can see that he added the complex library folder uh, just about three minutes ago. He pushed this change with added new library project uh, to the GitHub repository. So we managed to add a new project to the existing repository and we can do that, of course, for any further projects we want to create and put uh, into version control. Well, then this is it already for today. It was a very short episode, but the topic is not that complicated. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If so, give me a like. If not, uh, just let it be. And of course, uh, if you like the content, consider to subscribe to my channel or follow me on Twitter and post regular updates on what I do also on my other projects. Um, there's a playlist for all the Let's Develop With, especially the Let's Develop With Get an Eclipse um, episodes. So if you want to see what I did before, check out this playlist. And there's a lot of other projects like, like the Let's Develop With Maven and Eclipse or the Let's Develop Conway's Game of Life you might want to have a look at if you're interested in the contents. If you have any feedback, uh, just drop a comment, let me know or send me a message, you're always welcome to uh, criticize my work. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks again for watching and hope to see you next time.